Hello and welcome to a very special Yogscasty vlog. Me and Ben are in Birmingham on a lovely August sunny morning. Uh, the Olympics is going on in Rio de Janeiro right now. And I thought, you know, we can't send anyone to that, but we can send someone to our equivalent of the nerd version of the Olympics. <laughs> oh, I'm messing up the camera really badly. <laughs> I'm joined by Ben. Hello. Now, we, what, what are we doing today? Well, oh, well, we are playing at the UK National Championship called Star Wars Armada. So you have to play five games today. Five games, back to back. Starting it's more of an endurance marathon than a gaming contest. Each of them are three hours. Yep. We played one last night. It was uh, grueling, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, we've, we've got a wonderful statue here behind yeah. us. So to, in honour of the founding fathers of Star Wars Armada. Star Birmingham. Wars Armada is a big big, big part of Birmingham's uh, <laughs> cultural, heritage. cultural heritage. And that's, yeah. that's Luke there giving uh, Leia. Leia in hand, signing the final decree to say that you have to do it for 15 hours or you're not allowed in. Wow, okay, so we made it here. Look at this, it's pretty cool. There's a big, big hall full of people, Ben. Hello. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's busy. So, they're all playing other games. Yeah, it's not just Armada today. We've got, uh, we've got X Wing, we've got Netrunner, we've got, um, I don't know what else, loads of games. Why do you play Armada? Oh, well, it's a man's game, you see. Serious business for Armada, not like these little flash in the pan. What, what makes it a man's game? <laughs> no, I mean, I noticed, that, I noticed there's only one long table for Armada where, like, some of them have, like, like yeah, ten rows. It's not, I mean, X Wing's by far the most popular. Um, but uh, I don't know, X-Wing plays in about 45 minutes to an hour and you have like two, three ships. Whereas with Armada, you've got like six, seven, eight, nine ships. It takes two and a half hours to play. It's just a more sort of in-depth, get your teeth into kind of game. So they're playing like, how many games are they playing versus us? Oh, I hate to think. Um, they must be playing like 12 or something. Wow, um, so we get five in, but we get much, much cooler Giganto oh, models. We get way because the thing is, they get X-Wings in X-Wing, obviously. But we get X-Wings too. We get tiny, tiny little X-Wings and massive Star Destroyers. That's right. Right, so this is your setup. So we've got um, we've got two assault frigates, sort of medium cruiser type ships. We've got two corvettes, which are very small ships, and then a whole load of fighters. We've got three squadrons of X-wings, four squadrons of Y-wings, and a Hawk, which is kind of like a support shuttle thing. So these Close. are the assault frigates. Yeah, they're not in the movies, but they're pretty cool. Man, the lighting here is like totally it's blown crazy. out. It's, We've got spotlights everywhere. That's it, the problem. It's so you can like see all of the, the stuff that's going on. Mm. It's also it's to keep you awake. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. like a casino in here. You oh. don't know what time it's going to be. So it's going to get to like, you know, dinner time and no one will have any idea. They'll all be no. exhausted having to play out the last game. Yeah, so well, does game the, what happens with the finals? So if you make it through yeah, to like oh, the well, finals. So this is the extra, the extra last hurdle. The top two players um, at the end of the day after the five games come back tomorrow for a final sixth game. Right. Who is actually the UK's champion for 2016. But we're going home tonight. What happens if we... Uh, well, we'll have to get new train tickets if, if, I'm, if I'm in the finals. So we're going to we're gonna have to go and find a hotel at like 1am. Yeah. Or, I don't know, maybe a bus stop. Sleeping bus stop. We're going to have to sleep in rough. <laughs> yeah. But I'm hanging around. This the, is the life of a Star Wars Armada finalist. You've got to take it seriously, Lewis. If you haven't got the eye of the tiger, the, the will so of the fight. So what do normal people do to prepare for the fact that they might win? I think most people, like me, assume they're probably not going to win. Okay. That is all the briefing time we've got. We've just been told we have to sit down and uh, get, the, get the games rolling. So, Ben... I'm going to leave you and let you concentrate on all the games and then I'll meet up with you after game one and we'll, we'll, we'll assess how it went. Maybe we can do like a kind of um, reproduction of the game afterwards uh, to, 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 to talk through what went wrong and what went right. What went wrong? No. <laughs> Everything's going to go perfectly. All right, we'll see you there. Good luck. So game one, yeah. what went wrong? Absolutely nothing. Nothing it, went wrong. It was a perfect game. The perfect game. It was a perfect, perfect warm-up game. Yeah. Uh, obviously, one thing we didn't say about going into this tournament was mm. that Ben played two practice games before the tournament, right? So yeah. they were the two practice games which we've had. Uh, one of them was against me, who've never played the game before. <laughs> I didn't know the rules. I beat him. 
and I that was like a demo game though no like. I, I think I technically beat you <laughs> and not only that but the other practice game you played against your mate yeah you lost that as well I did so this is the first game of Star Wars Armada you've won in like just three months I just want to set you guys up but wait I, I, if we do win all the games of this tournament and we have to come back tomorrow or stay at like hobos overnight mm. don't ex expect that to happen <laughs> yeah. okay this guy, um, so basically, like, I want to talk a little bit about the game. So mm. the game started, you had your guys kind of lined up diagonally, as you always do on the board. Mm -hmm. And he had two, it was a classic Star Wars battle, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's two giant Imperial class Star Destroyers in the middle with some little, like, escort flotillas behind them. So he had no fighters. No, no, he was relying on these three raiders, very small ships that are, like, good at killing fighters. So they're like to screen and to deal with your fighters, your big oh. swarm of oh, horrifically like, high damage like little fighters. They're like little nests that follow behind the Star Destroyers and shoot all the fighters. Yeah, so he deployed them and then you obviously deployed, deployed your ships somewhat afterwards, but you ended up deploying them in such a way that two of his frigates or whatever, are they frigates? Uh, they're raiders. Raiders, two of the ride, raiders were deployed way over on the left. Yeah. So it's completely out of the fight. Basically. They did nothing for the entire mm. game. Except so one of them came in at the last minute and died, <laughs> having done nothing. Going into yeah. game two, I think you're going to see... I, I well, had a look around. Now it's, now it's matched up by Swiss pairing. Which right. means I will fight another guy who also got a 10-1 10, 10 victory. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're going to go up against the best guy in the room now? Probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. There's probably like four or five people who got the biggest victory. And we'll all go into a pool and be drawn against each other. So winners fight winners, losers fight losers, drawers fight drawers. Um, and eventually, but through that system over the five rounds, the very best people always fight the very, very best people. Oh, crap. And so the final is the two best players in the room. So, okay, so this was just random. They'd get first round's random. And you won it by so much that you're going to be put in the highest, highest Swiss bracket. bracket. Yeah. And now you have to do that again. Uh, yeah, exactly. Against so now someone who's already done it. So it's going to be really hard. And then the, the round game, after that really will be against two people, against someone who's won two rounds. Right. Exactly. So, okay, we just had some lunch yeah, and uh, game two. Mm -hmm. Ben, mm. what went wrong? God, what didn't go wrong? Everything Jesus, went wrong. Everything went wrong. We're out of the competition. Like we're going this way. And uh, we're go now going home Back for a much no, deserved it's, sleep. It is not over till the Jabba the Hutt sings. Okay, first of all, mm. you come to these events because yeah. you don't want to play people you know. Yeah, like occasionally I get to play at the club and I play the same guys every time. Yeah. And so, you know, so it's lovely to play new guys. I've never met them before, never just seen their fleets before. I, mean, I don't know how they play. It's a fresh experience. It's yeah, and it's a good learning thing because you'll yeah. get better. Yeah. And so, but sometimes you meet people at these things that you do know. Hmm. Um, so anyway, so I ended up getting drawn against Matt, who, who I, you know. He's one of the only people I play in Bristol. And I played him in the last tournament as well. We seem to be, it's our destiny to, to fight each other to the death. However, you have beaten him in the last three he, times you've played. He's never beaten me. He's never beaten you. So he, he was not confident going into this game. No. He should have been. So Ben had every, it, had it all in plan in mind, but something yeah. crucial. I don't want to get too technical, but we had a really critical moment where his torpedo frigate was coming in fast, coming in hard. And I was expecting my lead frigate to take, weather that first, first volley, let off an amazing broadside, capture the station, and then probably go out in a blaze of glory the following turn. Yeah. So um, I had the plan of my first frigate, the one without Akbar on, was going to basically just go out in a blaze of glory um, and t take the hits but deal out a lot of damage. Yeah, so we, we were um, quite happy just to hold the point as long as that, fri that frigate was going to die on the point. But it was going to hold for like two turns, take the point for two turns, and dish out like double broadsides. Uh, but he came in with this torpedo frigate, fired a small little volley out the front first, and I was like, fine. So like two points of damage, no, no worries. But he got a um, got a critical hit through my shields. So he has a special ability that allows him to just bypass shields and do one and do one critical hit. So you drew a critical hit damage card. Yeah, and right? it, he, it reduced my speed. I was already going slowly. I was going speed one because I wanted to stay on the station. And it reduced my speed to zero. But when you hit speed zero, you can't use any of your countermeasures. No. So you hadn't used any of them. You'd save them all. You're at full yeah. shields on the rest of your. Yeah. As, but I had this crack, free, little yeah. crack in my shields, and his whole broadside just flies into that crack. And because I, I was at speed zero, I couldn't redirect my, I couldn't angle my deflectors, I couldn't brace for impact. I just fucking blew up with all of my other shields still active. So one shot, you lost 
like was it like 80 or 90 points worth of, of shit. ship and instantly. That, that was the first thing that happened that turn so I hadn't had a chance to use it to activate fighters or to fire its broadsides or to do anything yeah and so from this point onwards Ben heroically ground his fucking <laughs> he grinded dug, out and um, 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 <laughs> dug my heels in he dug his heels in and he fucking took that guy for every single point he could so you you, yeah. you took another you you fought hard for the point and you pushed that other assault frigate down yeah, I lost, I lost that bomb. got blown up my frig my, uh, my corvettes just bugged out because I didn't want to lose them so as the well so the corvettes went sideways and the second assault frigate died as well yeah and I honestly when you b lost both assault frigates I just looked at the, the map and I was like <laughs> What does Ben even have? <laughs> yeah. He has this mess of fighters and two corvettes that are going off the side of the board. And so actually though, his assault frigate slowed down. Yeah, with his admiral on, it slowed down to claim the station and just basically park on the station. But you all fighters were all just buzzing around like bees. Yeah. And so they that was slowly it. That was like the, nipped away at his point. assault frigate. A swarm of bees just, just took down his assault frigate with his admiral on and um, really equalized the points up. And so then, it was actually fairly equal mm. but then you managed to actually kill off with your fighters a couple of his big fighters yeah, as well. Killed Dash Rendar and then in the last turn of the game one of my um, corvettes had gone done a lap of the board and came back and claimed the station on the last turn. And get, I think that was actually what claimed, so I think you won by about 30, 30 points, points something like that. Yeah. So it was, it was actually a victory technically that you ground the fucking hell out of. He didn't think it was a victory I didn't think it was a victory, but it uh, means that didn't you, feel like a victory. you versus Matt is still unbeaten. Still, uh, yep, I still have the belt. Four win streak. <laughs> so we're going into game three now. <sighs> yeah, so I'm on, what, 16 points? Which is still pretty good. One big win, one close win. If you get another um, big win, you'll be up to 26, and that'll put, I think, after this round, I saw the standings, you were in, I think, eight out yeah. of the, the fifth, of hey, yeah, 60 or 70? Maybe 50, 60. Maybe 60. So that's not a bad maybe place to be if we can keep, keep, keep that high. Yeah, it's something um, to play for. What do you need to do to qualify for the top two? Top two? Oh, you, just, you need the second highest score, you know? You need big, big so, points. So we need some big wins now. Big wins. Big we, wins next time. Some big booty And hopefully not losses. <laughs> big booty wins. <laughs> Welcome back after game three. game three. Ben, what went wrong? Uh, a couple of things, little things. Little things. If, if in game two you snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. Yeah, in this game I would say I snatched a minor victory from the jaws of a major victory. That's right, that's <laughs> right. So give me a rundown of who you were against. Uh, was up against a guy I haven't played before, but he had really nice, he custom painted his fleet, it looked great. Yeah, it looked um, like a bunch of Sith um, yeah. symbols. So basically he ran his Victory Star Destroyer right. right at you like the first guy. Yeah, he's Imperial class, same thing, straight into my guns, like a psychopath. And as soon as that happened, you were like, you knew that this, <laughs> yeah. game, was vic this game was won. I'm, I'm a bit nervous about, it's gonna, it just gets harder from here. It does get harder. But I'm going to go and uh, make sure Ben gets a, a back rub from some lady. <laughs> yeah, going to go and have a steam. Just to loosen himself up, um, make sure he's relaxed. Some of that hot cup therapy that's like really hot, hot cup. Right now. The suction cups. Have you heard about that? That's what the, all the Olympic athletes have got, like these hot suction cups. Do you want to go and get sucked? <laughs> We're going to go and do that now. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Game four. Yeah, we've been up since five. Yeah. It's now getting on for eight. Nearly eight. Yeah, uh, we're just heading out to a pub to meet up with the last opponent who we played. He yeah, was a, he's a nice guy. He was a really nice guy, a little bit drunk. <laughs> yeah, um, but it, helps. It was a really, really fun game. A really weird game. They were all again really different. Mm. And Ben, just honestly, like, what are you? What went wrong? What went wrong? Nothing <laughs> went wrong. Nothing <laughs> went wrong this time. <laughs> it was. It was a game where you kettled these poor yeah and Mon Calamari you actually had Admiral Akbar yeah they didn't have it <laughs> no he was on your stolen side. one of my ships and so um you kettled them yeah they went to a corner they were going very slowly so I just like t-boned them did the old Admiral Nelson crossed his T and stopped and he got stuck in my broadsides it was amazing Ben it was it was at, you took him apart and do you know what though as a person who was watching mm. I didn't really know who was winning because he had the, his Admiral 
has the ability to make ships into zombies. Yeah, so, so they, um, they don't die till the end of the turn. No. So they keep fighting for like a turn after you kill them. But really, just imagine he's coming one way, I speed up, get in front of him, and then slow right down. He, and, was, um, the, he was the Titanic and he hit an iceberg. Right? <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. It was, it was honestly, I don't know how else to talk about it other than mm. that. It was just, it was fantastic. It was good though. I was, it was nice to use my fleet aggressively. Instead of like running away from someone, I just grabbed it right in there. Yeah. So he went with the most wanted again. Yeah, everyone has pretty much. And you could um, have put the most want. Ah, oh, and the, the other thing about this game that's interesting is, this is the fleet yeah, that it's almost exactly like you the, lost to yeah. in the practice game against your exactly. friend. Um, so Ricky's Ricky's list was very similar yeah. to this one, mm -hmm. and you made well, the mistake perfect. previously yeah. of running your fighters. So he, okay, today what happened was he had all his fighters. They didn't really move. Yeah, they just kept staying still. Just like turn turtled up, turn up and turn. turtled up. And I was like, why isn't he moving them forwards? And it's because oh, they hit twice as hard. Hey, they are right. That we're we're done. We're gonna have a drink. We'll be back for game five. See you then. <laughs> So we just had game five. Yep. It's now about half past ten. No, no, no. It's, no. it's, it's, it's after eleven. It's after eleven. A long um, old day. We are going to head back to Bristol now. Yeah. Hitchhike. Um, goodbye, Birmingham. Goodbye, Birmingham. We are not uh, kipping overnight. I told Ben. <laughs> right? I do not want to sleep in Birmingham overnight. No. Also, you have to get back to Babby. I have to Babby. So, it was not p part of the itinerary to stay another no. day. So, Ben had to oh, yeah, try that's... and throw <laughs> this last game. Yeah. Okay, in order for us to uh, make everyone else look really good as well. Because we don't want to beat everybody. <laughs> After the... the the Ben seeing trying to throw the game, right? <laughs> he fucking only went and ground his way back up to victory. Well, I don't feel like I can call it a victory, although technically it, it was, was a, a victory. victory. So you actually were unbeaten. I mean, how often do you win all five games of a tournament and not and not, not go into the final? And not go into the final because the I final know. is only the last two. Yeah. So, but oh, as I said. It was all planned. Well, yeah, I ben can, wanted to get as far as he could. come back for a second day. Without having to go and mess up someone's chance to get into the final. Exactly. You know. There were some some really exciting dice rolls though, Ben. <laughs> I mean, there were some. Is there any other kind? The thing is, like, it was really, like, the, 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 the sometimes the whole game hung on one dice roll after yeah. three hours. Which was just, just crazy. Really crazy. So, uh, we're going to leave you and love you. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching, see you next time. <laughs>